Things have been moving fast in the cryptocurrency space. So fast, in fact, that you may even have forgotten about Filecoin, the $257 million mega ICO that took place back in 2017. Indeed, while other projects have launched and fizzled out just as quickly, Filecoin has silently been building some pretty groundbreaking technology. But what exactly is this technology of which I speak? My name is Guy, and in this video, I will give you everything you need to know about Filecoin and its upcoming launch. So be sure to watch till the very end. A few things before I kick off. Guy is nobody's financial advisor. So as such, whatever I say should in no way be interpreted as financial advice. Please do your own research. And if this is your first time with me, I encourage you to hit up that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Get these reviews straight from me to you. Okay, all set, let's get cracking. Filecoin is a project that is building a decentralized storage network on a blockchain. Essentially, they want to develop a distributed file storage protocol that is immutable, secure, and transparent. This network will allow users to buy storage directly from those who are providing it and pay for it with Filecoin's native token. Conversely, it also wants to give storage providers the opportunity to earn additional income from unused storage space. Indeed, the need for a decentralized file storage alternative is dire. The large centralized cloud storage providers such as Amazon, Google, Dropbox, etc. control large swathes of the market. It's not just the cloud storage market specifically, but the whole centralized web hosting industry and the client server infrastructure that's built on top of it. With all of these methods of file storage, you have one central point of failure. Moreover, your files are technically the property of these providers when they are on their servers. And of course, you have to pay for the privilege of doing this, sometimes way more than you need to. Okay. We know that the status quo stinks, so how is Filecoin going to shake it up? Well, in a number of ways. The first of which is through their use of the Interplanetary File System, or IPFS. So let's take a look at this, shall we? IPFS is an open source peer-to-peer -peer file sharing system that was initially released back in 2015. Since this time, it's gained considerable traction as more and more developers have built on top of it. It was developed by Protocol Labs, which was founded by Juan Bennett. Protocol Labs is also the company building the Filecoin protocol, and Juan is also the founder here. More on that in a bit. Now, with the traditional client-server model, you as the client will connect to a server through an HTTP connection, the type of connection that you make when browsing online. IPFS differs in that not only can a user request files from a distributed storage network, but they can also host content. You can think of it as vaguely akin to the BitTorrent file sharing protocol. With the IPFS, instead of having all the data stored on a singular server, user operators on the network will hold a portion of all the data. Distributed hash tables, or DHTs, will spread the data across this network of computers. These DHCs can then help coordinate efficient access to the data and source it from relevant nodes. Now, if any of this is unclear to you, then I've linked to additional IPFS information below. The main thing to take away here is the resilience of the network. Even if one peer goes down, you don't lose access to the data. There's no central coordination required, and this network can scale to millions of nodes. This also has numerous benefit when it comes to the speed with which files can be served. And it's not just theory. IPFS is being adopted at a breakneck pace. By the time of the Filecoin sale in 2017, over 5 billion files had already been stored on IPFS. There are also many that foresee a completely decentralized internet built on the back of IPFS. Indeed, there are already a number of websites and applications that are using IPFS. And here's a fun fact. In the Catalan independence referendum, when the opposition party websites were being shut down, they mirrored the sites on IPFS. Power to the people indeed. 
So it's clear that IPFS is shaking up the centralized web, but that is only one leg in the Filecoin technology stack. So now that you have a reasonable idea of it, let's move on to the Filecoin blockchain. The Filecoin blockchain takes IPFS and builds a storage marketplace on top of it. Here you have users and you have miners. However, the miners are not the typical kind that you know of from Bitcoin and other proof-of-work coins. Here, instead of simply hashing an algorithm, miners will amass storage and they can earn tokens for both propagating blocks and storing files. So, those miners who provide more storage and are able to provide the content to clients the quickest get more mining rewards. Essentially, an incentive mechanism to minimize latency and maximize bandwidth. This is also more efficient than other proof-of-work mining as it does not require power-hungry ASIC mining rigs. On top of the IPFS storage protocol, Filecoin has additional self-healing and redundancy safeguards in place. Data is stored using erasure coding and information dispersal algorithms. These are able to detect if there are any missing nodes and reallocate missing pieces from other nodes. Now, when it comes to consensus, Filecoin uses a unique method called, quote, proof of replication. This consensus method basically verifies that every copy of the file is stored independently. Each unique copy of the data is generated by cryptographically sealing the data at the time of storage using a unique encryption key. What does this mean? Well, it means that you have a publicly verifiable record that the miner has correctly stored the data and was online ready to serve it. Proof of replication won't only reward those miners who store, but also punish those who fail to adhere to their initial contracts. Still with me? Good. Oh, now if any of this is unclear to you, then I've linked to our in-depth review in the description below. Okay, so now you know the theory behind the Filecoin blockchain, but how does it work? Well, it all starts with you, the person who wants to store a file. You'll send information about the file as well as the duration you would like it stored, as well as a small amount of Filecoin token, your bid. At the same time, the miners on the network are submitting asks where they are offering to store data. Here, they're providing their best price in order to store it. The bids and asks are matched on chain and then the record of the agreement is stored on the blockchain. After this is done, the user will send the file to the miner and the miner will add the file to a sector. This sector is then cryptographically sealed and sent to the blockchain. Miners will also have to prove on an ongoing basis that they are indeed storing the files that they agreed to store. The Filecoin token paid by the user is released in stages to the miner. These miners will also earn Filecoin as a block reward that is proportional to the amount of files that they store. The final step of the process is when the client is retrieving those files that were stored. This takes place off-chain and the user will send a request for files to be sent along with some more Filecoin token. The miner that is able to send these files the quickest will get paid. File storage at the miner is then freed up and he's ready to start accepting files again. Now the really ingenious thing about the Filecoin network is that there are both on-chain and off-chain components. The storage market is on-chain, where large providers can compete on price to provide the most cost-effective storage. The retrieval market is off-chain, where smaller yet well-located miners can serve the content to the user most efficiently. They'll receive tokens through payment channels, which reduces the load on the main chain. Anyways, we've talked a lot about this Filecoin token, so let's take a bit of a closer look at it, shall we? Filecoin is the native cryptocurrency on the Filecoin network and it is used as a utility token for paying for storage, retrieval and transactions. There will be a maximum supply of 2 billion Filecoin. That will be released according to a similar schedule as Bitcoin, called asymptotic vesting. Now, as mentioned in the beginning, Filecoin had a massive ICO in 2017, one that saw them bring in a total of $205 million. This is even more impressive when you consider that they'd taken in $52 million prior to this in a private seed sale. These tokens were sold in an SAFT sale, which is a soft agreement for future tokens. Here, you can see the supply breakdown of the token allocation. 
30% of this will be allocated to the Genesis block, whereas the remaining 70% of it will be left as mining rewards. You may also want to note that will also be a six-year linear vesting schedule for the Foundation and the Protocol Labs team. This basically restricts the sale of these tokens on the open market and keeps the team locked in for a certain period of time. Great to see. Now, when it comes to pricing dynamics, the token will be set on the open market. Of course, there are demand and supply factors that will be at play. Demand will come from the buyers of storage. Supply will come from the block rewards. Price is likely to react to the balance between these two forces. Let's switch gears now and take a look at the team behind the project and its development. As mentioned earlier, the company behind Filecoin are Protocol Labs, which is the same company that developed the IPFS. The founder of Protocol Labs is Juan Bennett. He studied computer science at Stanford and founded Protocol Labs back in 2014. He's also an alumnus of Y Combinator, the prestigious startup incubator. Something else that's really impressive about Filecoin is the caliber investor that backed it in its seed round. The project received funding from the likes of Sequoia Capital, Andreessen Horowitz, and Union Square Ventures. Pretty damn impressive. When it comes to development, the devs have been busy. Like, really busy. Head on over to their GitHub repositories if you would like to get a sense of what is being pushed. Extensive code commits over the past year. The project released their testnet in December of 2019, which was on schedule. This was released in order to, in their words, break the testnet. They want external developers to test out the full Filecoin feature set and push it to its limits. So, if you're a developer and you want to test out the Filecoin network, I've left links to the testnet below as well as the official instructions. In terms of the roadmap, Filecoin is looking to a mainnet launch in March of 2020. This will no doubt be an important milestone for the project as it will mean the issuance of the Genesis block and the disbursement of those Filecoin tokens. Now, you're probably wondering where you can get your hands on some Filecoin. Well, they are not available yet as they've not been minted. This will only happen once the Genesis block is mined. There are Filecoin futures that are currently trading on the open market, although I would handle these with caution. Yet, once it is launched, it will be interesting to see how the Filecoin token performs. The closest example that you have of a project that raised a similar funding and listed a few months after that was Tezos. Of course, they are completely different projects focusing on different use cases. You could also look at similar storage coins like Storage or Sirecoin, neither of which have performed well in price. So, in the end, only time will tell. I want to finish up this video with a few final thoughts. Firstly, I'm really excited for the launch of Filecoin. The project could not only shake up the cloud storage sector, but also the whole way we think about the internet. We need a decentralized internet. We need more censorship-resistant alternatives. Filecoin could fill that gap. Moreover, the project is building on top of the IPFS, which has been around for over four years and is already being adopted globally. Of course, it also helps a great deal that the main man behind IPFS is also the individual building out Filecoin. The team at Protocol Labs no doubt has the experience and expertise to build out a decentralized file storage protocol. And not only do you have an experienced team behind the project, but they also have a lot of coin in their kitty, 257 million to be exact. This will no doubt be useful in a time when other blockchain projects are scaling back. Will there be challenges? Yes, indeed. The project has not launched yet, and a lot can happen before then. There are also high expectations, so if the mainnet launch is less than stellar, the token could tank. It'll also be quite challenging to convince average users and webmasters to move to a decentralized alternative. While data centralization may be a concern for you and me, it's not really something that keeps your average Joe up at night. They care more about ease of use and a familiar product. Will Filecoin be just as easy to use? It remains to be seen. Either way, Filecoin is shaping up to be one of the biggest mainnet launches of 2020. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled and your ear to the ground. And that brings to a close my overview of Filecoin. Now it's time for you guys to do the talking. 
What are your thoughts on Filecoin? Do you have any questions for me? Hit me up below. And of course, if you found this overview helpful, then help support this channel. Smash up that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I will have another video for you very soon. Oh, while I have you guys here, I have something important to share. I've recently started a weekly newsletter. In it, I release my top market tips, share the coins that I've personally got my eye on, as well as the most insane crypto promotions I can find. Keen? Then be sure to drop your email in the sign-up form I provided below. You won't regret it, and no spam, I promise. See you in my next video. Thank you.